Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com, and I'm going to do a full Bluehost review for 2016, and I'm going to let you know whether it really is or is not the top web hosting service available for you. So I'm going to break down every aspect of Bluehost and what they offer you in terms of web hosting for your website, and you can make a final decision uh, based off of what I tell you and based off of your other research to determine whether or not this is the right service for you. So first we have the cPanel. Uh, Bluehost uses cPanel to manage your hosting uh, for your website and, and it includes one click WordPress installation so a lot of websites now and blogs are being created using WordPress. You can install WordPress using one click so it's very easy to use if you're not um, super technical savvy with things like that so you want to do a web a WordPress site if you want ease of use and having organization within the dashboard of where your hosting is then cPanel is great for you and Bluehost makes it easy to use uh, customer support they have 24 hours 7 days a week 365 days a year customer support in the US um, is where it's based. They also have live chat support from 5 a.m. to 12 a.m. and that is Mountain Standard Time and there is also email support and self-help support pages with instructions so in other words you can also help yourself by going to their tutorials and their pages on their website that teach you how to deal with different problems and answer whatever questions you may have. As far as pricing goes, I compared them to HostGator, which is one of their main competitors. They really take over the um, the vast majority of the hosting for internet and all that. So Bluehost is very affordable, and as you can see, you know HostGator might be slightly cheaper. But the thing about Bluehost is they are always doing promotions. They all they have a lot of deals that you can get through other bloggers and other websites, uh, discounts, free domains, things like that that help you kind of make up for it in the long run. But it's only $3.95 a month starting out, so it's you know it's pretty pretty affordable for whatever your um, needs are. As far as uptime goes, the latest uptime uh, research I've done on Bluehost is around 99.9% .9 uptime. So you don't have to worry about your website going down very often with Bluehost. And as far as speed and performance go, um, they tend to have slightly better server response time, page load time, and time to first bit than some of their competitors like HostGator, for example. So it might be a little bit faster, not a whole lot, it's probably not that noticeable, but if you want to really break it down, they're a little bit faster than, say, HostGator. Uh, SEO integration is one thing I actually had a problem with with HostGator and I think a few others that are competing with Bluehost have had this problem as well but SEO plugins don't work, with, work very well with all hosting companies but they tend to work pretty well with Bluehost uh, Yoast SEO and W3 Total Cache are a couple of WordPress plugins that help your SEO and the performance of your site those are two of the most popular and they tend to work pretty well with Bluehost. As far as email features go, they have unlimited email accounts, email access from any device, and email forwarding for your website's domain. So anything you want to do email wise with your hosting company for your website is pretty much available through Bluehost. As far as extra features goes, Bluehost uh, offers a free domain when you sign up with them and that can actually save you time and money in the long run because it makes it easier to have your website set up from the start when you get the domain from the same company as the hosting and it saves you from having to search around GoDaddy or other domain sites to find a domain that's not taken. and pay for that separately so you save money you save time and installation and all that 
and they also do a lot of coupon codes, like I said, through other bloggers and other websites on the internet, and uh, you could save quite a bit of time and money just through those things. They also offer automated weekly backups for free, whereas some of the other hosting companies actually charge for that. Uh, closing notes, as far as Bluehost goes, it's a pretty solid company overall, especially when you're starting out or when you uh, don't have a huge website yet. They're willing to work with you as well, you know, they're a little more lenient than some companies in the uh, hosting world that tend to disable a site without warning if it has poor performances or is kind of slow or something or doesn't have um, certain plugins that they like they'll sometimes disable the site without even sending you an email or warning or anything so Bluehost doesn't tend to do that some of their competitors do you have to research that a little more but um, plenty of bloggers and others have noted those things about the other companies so as far as the verdict goes I give it three and a half stars for Bluehost and their hosting services. The reason I don't give them five stars is because there are quite a few hosting services that might give you more website speed, they might give you better WordPress functionality, they might give you better SEO support, they have more things built in to help you with the performance of your site, things like that. So I can't say I give them a perfect overall score just because there are a lot of competitors that are probably lesser known but are still better as far as quality goes in some of those areas but Bluehost is a great company to start out with you know they have cheap rates great customer support and uptime they have lots of promotions free backups free domain good usability you know one click WordPress installation th things like that that really help you out when you're you know you don't know a whole lot about those things yet so they're definitely a solid option when you're starting out or don't have a huge website in my opinion so if you like the video if you uh, think this review helped you at all don't forget to like like it and subscribe I'm gonna have more reviews and more tutorials coming in the future that I think you'll really like if you like this one and don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com if you want to contact me directly, if you want to get more in-depth tutorials and training on certain things that will help you run a better business or start one from scratch. And um, as far as leaving a comment, if you want to let us know what you thought about the review, if you want to let us know uh, some of their competitors that might be better for us to try out, if you want to let us know your own um, experiences with Bluehost, uh, let us know in the comments. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.